Here at Vacuum Wars, we've been doing a series on commercial upright vacuums, and next up is the Windsor Sensor XP12. It's a very popular and very pricey vacuum. We put it through a lot of tests, including a few against its near twin, the Sanitaire Eon. So links in the description to everything I'll mention, and let's get started. Windsor is the commercial vacuum brand from SIBO, and the 12 in Windsor Sensor XP12 stands for brush path width in inches. So XP15 is 15 inches, and 18 is 18 inches, and so on. Some of you may remember the Windsor Sensor XPs being blue and white instead of gray and yellow, and it's true that the color of the model recently changed, but from everything I can tell, the basic design stayed the same. So first the basics. The Windsor Sensor XPs are built out of a durable polyethylene, which seems commercial grade to me. Similar commercial touches include a very long 40-foot cord, a very easy to remove brush roll, metal in areas prone to wear like the foot switch or in various places on the bottom plate. Instead of a manual height adjustment like we saw with the Sanitaire, the Windsor Sensor XP uses a sensor to automatically adjust the brush height on the fly. It also has lights for brush faults and a bag full slash clog indicator light. So let's start with the pros. It had a pretty good amount of power for a commercial vacuum. We measured its suction at 70 inches of water lift. Its airflow at the hose was 70 CFM and at the cleaner head it was 51 CFM. All that was just a touch higher than we saw with the Sanitaire Eon, which as alluded to earlier has almost the exact same design as the Windsor XP12. The Windsor Sensor XP is a really good carpet cleaner, effortlessly picking up everything from pet hair to fine debris to large debris. Its auto height adjustment features seem to work well on various surfaces. In our carpet deep clean test, where we rub exactly 100 grams of sand into a thick carpet and weigh the dust bags before and after, it scored a perfect 100%, which is fairly rare, though its competitor, the Sanitaire Eon, also scored a perfect 100, probably because they were both built to be well above average carpet cleaners. With hard floors, there was a big difference, though. The Sanitaire Eon did not have a brush roll shutoff switch or any kind of seal on the bottom, so it basically shoots debris right out of the back of the unit when it tries to vacuum hard floors. The Windsor Sensor XP12, despite having an almost identical design as the Eon, has added a plastic seal that prevents this from happening, so it can and does do fairly well on hard floors. Though it does struggle with extra large debris, in part because of the automatic height adjustment being somewhat limited. But that's what the wand is for anyway, and speaking of the wand, that's our next pro. I really like removable extension wands on commercial vacuums, and not many commercial vacuums have them, but it's useful for stairs and other odd jobs. I found that the Windsor wand was easier to replace on the vacuum than with the Sanitaire as well. It has a really good filtration system. Our fog test showed no obvious leaks, and it appears the filters are at least filtering up to 5 microns. So both the Windsor XP and the Sanitaire Eon did better than something like 90% of all other vacuum cleaners in terms of their filtration systems. As far as negative stuff, I would say that like the Sanitaire Eon, it's kind of heavy. The Windsor Sensor XP12 is 18 pounds, which is about the same as some of the heavier household vacuums out there, but considering that almost every commercial vacuum with this design weighs about the same, I guess we can't be too hard on the Windsor XP12. The Windsor was louder than the Sanitaire by about 4 decibels, which doesn't sound like much, but it was noticeably louder. I also didn't like how the cord was not independent like it was on the Sanitaire, where you could easily replace the cord with an extension cord. But on the Windsor, the handle is connected to the cord. So far in our series, I like the Windsor Sensor XP the most. It had the most power, did amazing on carpets, and it was pretty good on hard floors. I liked the sturdy feel of the vacuum, and I felt comfortable knowing this model had been around forever. It's covered by a great warranty, and there are a ton of parts available just about anywhere online. Links in the description for current prices, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars if you're interested in the rest of this series on commercial vacuums. Thanks for watching.